Hi guys, I am Richard Espromonti. This is the first chapter in a series of marvelous tutorial for Jada Loop Machine. I will introduce the concept of channels, one of the main building blocks of the application, and a basic overview of what you can do with them. Let's go. This is the main interface of Jada, after the startup. Those big, gray blocks are the so-called columns. They contain channels. Whenever you create a new channel, you will be adding it to a column. Now, in Jada there are two types of channels. Sample channels, and MIDI channels. Sample channels contain, well, samples. On the other hand, MIDI channels contain MIDI events. Let me add two channels to those columns, one for each type. The sample channel first, then the MIDI channel. Here we go. Let's take a closer look to the sample channel first. As you can see, a channel is made of several tools, buttons and knobs. This is the play button, it's used to activate the channel. This is the status bar, it tells you the current position of the running sample. I will come back to these two items in a minute. This is the main button. It opens a pop-up menu with several actions available, like loading or editing the sample, managing inputs and outputs, cloning or deleting the channel. Let me add a sample for testing purposes. Don't worry if you don't understand how most of that advanced tools work, they will be covered thoroughly in future tutorials. For now let's stick to the sample loading stuff. This will open a browser where you can choose the sample to load. Let's try. I guess it's pretty clear what's going on here. I've started the sample and the status bar shows the sample position. Continuing the channel overview, this is a sample mode. It basically defines how the sample should play. Please take a look at my other tutorials if you want to dig it deeper. This are the mute and solo buttons, and this one opens the audio effect list. Finally the circular knob controls the channel volume. Another way of creating sample channel, is via drag and drop. Pick up one or more samples and drop them over a column, or below the channel stack. Very handy. Let's finish this brief introduction by taking a look at the MIDI channel. It shares most of the tools with the sample channel. As the sample channel requires a sample to play, a MIDI channel needs MIDI events, also known as actions. Actions are created and managed through the action editor. A MIDI channel also needs an audio effect, like a VST instrument to output sounds. Alternatively you can send those events through the MIDI output of your sound card, so that you can drive an external instrument or another software. Good. I guess we are done with this introduction to channels. I've left out many interesting tools and options, but that's okay. I will surely cover them in the next episodes of my tutorials. For now thanks for watching, and have fun with Jada, your hardcore loop machine.